So, Grace, uh, welcome back. Um, how proud are you of, of these last few weeks and how have they gone for you? Yeah, obviously it's been, a, it's been an amazing few weeks. Um, out in South Africa was pretty special, I think. Like the World Cup, being a part of that first one, uh, it was really a, a good thing to be a part of. And obviously, yeah, I was happy with the way I went. Uh, you picked up many awards including the ICC Player of the Month for January and the Under-19 T20 World Cup MVP, uh, which has basically catapulted your name in, into that global spotlight. What's that been like? Yeah, it's been cool. I think, um, obviously, the awards were really special to receive and obviously really honoured to, to pick them up. But I think it was just a sort of an honour and, and a privilege to play with the girls. I think I couldn't have done it without them, like their support and, and sort of like the way we went about it, the partnerships I was able to form and batten and stuff like that just allowed me to play the game that I wanted to play. And yeah, put, put in some fantastic performances, um, including that semi-final victory against Australia, all whilst being captain. Uh, what, what did you learn from, from having that responsibility? I think I learned so much. That um, Australia game, as you said, was pretty special. Like nothing I've ever experienced before. The highs and lows were were quite quite mad, really. But I think learning so much about sort of myself under pressure. I've, I've been in situations for sunrises where I haven't quite been on the right end of it. For instance, when bowling and stuff like that. So to be able to sort of pull through and and get that win with the ball was was really special. Definitely. Um, and then after the first World Cup for. Uh, under 19s uh, and with with the senior wi women's world cup going on now um how special it, is it for you to to have played such a massive part in raising the the profile in young girls playing cricket uh and kind of showing that genuine pathway um towards being a pro pro player i think it's so special i think like the women's game is only growing like in cricket in other sports as well so that's that's really special and i think we wanted to go out there and sort of show that you can be fearless and, and you can play in, in an attacking way and I hope that's that's what inspired the sort of the girls and coming up that's what they could do when they play as well so I think it's really special and I think sort of having that that system in place in terms of the regional setup and and sort of then into under 19 and stuff like that just gives people real sort of clarity on how to get into sort of these pathways which is really good. Uh, and then fi finally this has all come off the, the back of a fantastic personal season for, for, from you for, for Sunrises. So what, what are you looking forward to taking into this summer, which is just two months away? Now? I think I want to obviously continue playing the way the player did in the, in the World Cup. I think I put in a few good performances Sunrises last year, but I didn't quite get over the line um, in terms of getting, getting the results for the team, sort of putting in their match winning performances. So I think that'll be really important for me this year, sort of building partnerships with, with the girls here and, and sort of just getting them wins on the board for Sunrisers as well. I think, obviously, in the World Cup, we were quite successful for our, obviously didn't get through in the final, but we, we experienced winning, so I think if we can take that through into Sunrisers stuff as well, then it will be in a good place. Perfect. Well, yeah, th thank you for, for, for coming, talking to us. Um, see you soon. Perfect, thank you.